When I first joined Microsoft, I used to play this game called Top 5 Microsofties. And I'd ask everyone I met who their five favorite people were. Not famous people like Bill Gates or Mark Krasinovich, but the people you would save in an end of the world scenario, the people you would let live in your bomb shelter. This meant I'd look at everyone I met and ask myself, what is it that makes them remarkable? And I think it's made me value the friends I've had even more because of that. They say that you're the sum of the people you surround yourself with. So if you want to be really awesome, surround yourself with the best people. If you're one of the people that I value the most, it's because you inspire me to be better. Despite what it says in the welcome experience, it's not about turning the dashboard green or making the numbers. It's about connecting to the people around you and contributing to their success. Because no matter how great I am at what I do, if I'm doing it alone, I can never achieve as much as I can as when I'm working as part of a team. I think all of the stories that I could tell you about how I make my mark begin with making a connection. I was invited to speak at this Women in Tech event. It was the first time I decided to speak without, making an, without using any notes, so I was really wetting myself. <laughs> <laughs> this politician spoke first, and then this other senior industry dignitary, and then another one, and then it was my turn. And I was so scared. But <laughs> everyone else had copious notes, facts and figures, impressive stuff. But I just got up there and spoke from the heart about what was important to me and the people in the room. I told them embarrassing stories, which they laughed at. And at the end, I was the one surrounded by people telling me what an impact I'd made on them. One of those people was a previous TEDx speaker, and she said I should nominate to speak at TEDx Perth, and that she would reference me. <laughs> so I put myself forward. <laughs> And they picked me, and then I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, that was a really big deal. I was next level scared. <laughs> but I kept the teller on the inside. Just fucking do it, right? <laughs> you can watch my talk on YouTube, and if everyone here watches it, we could maybe double my number of views. <laughs> so, you know, please do that. <laughs> You've got to listen to the talk loud uh, so that you can hear the crowd, otherwise it just looks like I'm up there laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> Not many people knew about that talk until I went to services off-site this year. And then uh, one of the Yammer kids shared it on Yammer. All of a sudden, that talk was being shared and reshared around the world. People from across the globe were reaching out and connecting to me. In 2013, there were almost 8 million Yammer users, which is a, a pretty big number. That was before Microsoft bought them. Now, because of Office 365 integration, that number is in the hundreds of millions. But Yammer are not just about connection. They are a movement. They are a tribe. And when you have a tribe, you have the power to change the world. As individuals, we can connect to only a few people really well. But when you're part of a tribe, you have limitless reach. In Perth, we are this small town sitting on the edge of the world. But Yammer, the technology and the tribe, has enabled me to reach around the world making friends and influencing people. I do a lot of work in the community and people often ask me how I have time. But those people are my friends, they are my customers, and ultimately they are my tribe. So I just turn up to everything and they love me for it. Tribes have symbols, and symbols have meaning. There's a reason I choose the unicorn as my desktop background. The Yammer kids know why. But well, unicorns are a symbol of hope. To investors, they are a symbol of un unprecedented wealth and success. I'm not putting my ninja cat on a dinosaur. If I had to summarize my philosophy on how I make my mark down to three points, it would be about saying yes to opportunity even if you're really scared. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Secondly, good enough stopped being good enough a long time ago, so why not be great? It's not enough to do your own shit, then kick back. Look around you, see who else needs a hand, and move the whole team forward. Past performance is no guarantee of future success. And finally, 
I think the theme that I've had throughout is about connection. You might do well on your own, but you can never do as much as quickly. Look around you. Who are your top five Microsofties? <laughs> Well yeah, one more round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Michelle, fantastic. Well done, mate. She did a great job. I'm not sure if you noticed, that, or you probably won't know this, but the slides advanced automatically every 15 seconds, and she did all that without notes. One more round of applause so she can hear us. Well done, Michelle. Thanks, mate.